Edo State Governor Gordon Obaseki don't commission 500 capacity girls hostel for University of Benin for Benin City. The commission is Shelley on Saturday, 30th April 2023 for Ubawa campus as former Niger Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General T.Y. Danjuma delivered the 500 capacity female hostel for his wife named Daisy to University of Benin. Governor Gordon Obaseki called appreciate the donation and said this is now another testament of Danjuma's philanthropy and desire to always uplift the society and said the honor they always demonstrate concern with issue of Niger youth, particularly for education. The governor constantly talks say he not forget how Danjuma make big, big donation to Edo State during the COVID-19 pandemic three years ago and saying government don't assist the school for road construction and come beg other individuals and private organizations made and continue to support tertiary institutions with infrastructure so as we go improve teaching and learning for the country. I want to thank our guests and donor on this auspicious occasion as we commissioned the Senator Deji Ehanere Danjuma Hostel for Girls, donated by the elder statesman, someone described him earlier today, one of Nigeria's greatest heroes, Lieutenant General Theophilus Yakubu Danjuma. This highly regarded philanthropist has, with this gesture, shown once again that he is a father with a very large heart who is concerned and has always been concerned about the plight of Nigerian youths, especially as they grapple with the shortage of accommodation in their tertiary institutions. For us in Edo State, we're not totally surprised by his great feat because General T.Y. Danjima is an embodiment of philanthropy. And as has just been told us, he has now institutionalized his given through his foundation. The foundation has continued to provide succor to the underprivileged by offering social services, endowing scholarships, and undertaking community outreaches that have greatly improved the lot of the downtrodden. The donation of this hostel is yet another testament to this legacy of freely giving of himself to the upliftment of others. I want to also note with appreciation today the amount of support, medicaments, and cash which the Foundation and General and Mrs. Danjuma offered us in Edo State during the unfortunate period of COVID-19. It is gratifying to note that this commissioning today coincides with the commemoration of the Education Week of Edo State, where we have spent the last few days preferring solutions to the challenges and identifying avenues for growth in the state's education ecosystem. The gesture is as impressive as it is exemplary, because over the last few years, I have vehemently made the case for a shift in the way we run our tertiary institutions, and that there's a need to allow more room for private sector participation through philanthropic gestures and endowments. Donations such as, as these would be the only key source of improving the infrastructure that will help you enhance the learning environment so as to lift the burden of government. In the same vein, I want to use this opportunity to call on more individuals and organizations and governments to continue to support tertiary institutions in the area of infrastructure upgrade and also funding research and development initiatives so that our higher institutions can favorably compete with their peers across the globe. The host, this hostel will complement the efforts being made by government to improve the learning environment within and outside the University of Benin. Senator Daisy Danjuma will then name the hostel after, for in speech, come back the students will then go accommodate for the hostel to maintain the facility, as maintenance culture now one of the challenges we will face for the country. She constantly made them make the university role model to others. I must say I'm delighted to be here today, and um, I was actually surprised when I saw this building 
the first thing I said was that um, it's a five-star hotel. Because um, some hotels I, I see, after seeing this one, I would consider them half-star, <laughs> not even one-star. And I pray the students who live, who live here will maintain this hostel. You maintain this hostel, the girls who live here. You behave like women who will be responsible wives and mothers by taking care of what has been presented to you, guarding it properly. Maintenance culture is something we don't have in Nigeria, which is what we need to learn. Someone said that, why is it just for girls? How many women are vice chancellors in Nigeria? Do you have a female senator again? How many women do you have in, in the National Assembly? I would like to encourage you people to be a role model university. Please. Occasionally when I hear negative news about Uniben, it, I'm always very upset when I hear it because that's where I come from. Please, students, try and make your university a role model university in Nigeria. Like I told the vice chancellor, I said that I don't want this to be like a dormitory. I said because um, when I went to the university, I went to Amadubelo University and I had a room to myself. We had, it was uh, nice to be in university. We all looked forward to going back to school because we are treated like adults. But these days, that same room, there are about 10, 12 people in that same university. And one of the problems I know we have in uh, universities today, it's accommodation. So I would like to uh, uh, crave the indulgence of anybody who can afford to build hostels in our various universities to please donate one to all the various universities. Please. Because our children maybe will do better. I believe when you have too much crowd, it causes a lot of um, frustration. Because uh, we have so much uh, cultism and uh, all sort of bad behaviors among students. I think they don't have enough time to be, no, um, to be alone to read. So I will beg other donors to please focus on donating more hostels for various universities. Vice Chancellor of University of Benin, Professor Lilian Salaminko, appreciate the gift and said the hostel will help them address shortage of hostel accommodation for students who did the school. And she constituted the students say made them use the hostel well. When we gave honorary cursor to our dear general, as soon as we got there, he just said, universities, you're always in need of things. What can I do for you? And quickly, I just said to everyone, look, one thing we want is hostel. Hostel, 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 hostel. Because we have almost 60,000 students, and we can only accommodate about 10,000. That isn't effective in managing students. Because we actually someday will want to have at least 80% of our students in-house. That way, we can manage them better. We can control them better. And then we can then at least ensure that they come here to learn, learn good, and not bad, and then mold their characters. So right there, he said, I'll give you a hostel. You know how it is. We looked at ourselves and we said, how are we going to, are we going to dance or whatever? And immediately, he ordered that our hostel must start immediately. And that was how we got this hostel. And this hostel is named after his beautiful wife, Senator Daisy Danjima, Hostel for Girls. And so that's how we got this. And so only some few weeks ago, I went to tell my sister, I said, well, you would be surprised that that hostel is already here for commissioning. She said, uh, I don't want that hostel to be too crowded. I said, well, right now we have no choice but to crowd the hostel because we don't have enough for odd students. And she said, look, I will give a second one. And immediately she also commissioned the second one. So and that's why I said that Sisi Yayi will give the third one. By the grace of God. Our dear students, this is a wonderful, wonderful gift that we're getting today. And what that means, to whom much is given, much is also expected. And I always say, because I heard uh, Sisi Daisy telling uh, ESCO just a few minutes ago, that you must learn to build what you have rather than destroy what you have. 
we are trying to build. Only two weeks ago, a student out of carelessness burnt down a hostel, completely burnt down. And we did a you know, integrity test. That hostel must be brought down. We can't salvage even one room. So we are building and we are pulling down. And that doesn't work. So please, this hostel has been built. For those of you who are here, for children yet unborn, and so we must leave a legacy not to destroy what should keep the University of Benin, you know, what it ought to be. We are all striving to make this university the unibest of the universe. And this is our commitment. After the commissioning of the hostel, Senator Danjuma can donate another block of hostel for female students. Why Minister of Health Dr. Osage Haniwe come do the groundbreaking ceremony? From Benin City, A. Carter Ojaisele, TMC TV News.